I actually really do like this hyper beam now. The more that I think about it, we got a beam cell, we have a hologram, we have an echo form. Like, we can absolutely murder things. Three plasma, 24 damage. I'll take that. We can play that sometimes. And I think a second meteor strike is freaking fantastic. Yes. We'll take another meteor strike. Thank you. Four tries to get us that good old buttery goodness. Battery goodness? Mmm, butter. I think doing this elite first is pretty reasonable. Getting uh, an upgrade here, one more card reward, and then fighting one, two, three elites with a, a relatively late store. There's also a relatively ambitious four elites path. I think that's a lot harder to do. And I do anticipate losing some health in our opening combats. Happened to us before. Yes, yeah, so we gotta remember that we should dual cast early. Dual cast early, dual cast often. I think I want one event. I don't really want to do six combats into our first elite. It seems... axing. Generous slime rolling 12 or less HP. Good stuff. So the takeaway we had from before is that when you start with a nuclear battery, you should dual cast, at least in these early encounters, to move the lightning orb into the front. Even if the additional energy is of no benefit, you want to be able to kill when you draw the dual cast again, like this. Hmm. Recursion lets us move the orb out of the way? That's an interesting option. Reprogram is an interesting option. Although I think I prefer the hologram for a lot of reasons. Good immediately with the dual cast. Let's us take a. Let's us take a reprogram. <laughs> the recursion all for one build. It could happen. It could happen. It's a tough turn one draw, but okay. actually decent too, making our lightning orbs hit more, but I really like getting frost orbs into the mix. And I love equilibrium as a card, but we really need to take an attack card, I think. So let's take the cold snap. Actually, maybe I could get away with taking an equilibrium here. It's one of my favorite block cards on defect, and I especially like it with this orb. I'm gonna try it. I think it's an, an exceptional card here. I think it's good in the hallway combats. And we have two more, well, actually three more card rewards, minimum, before our first Elite rolls up. Beep. This time there's no need to... I guess I sh should have anyway. Yeah, no need. Okay, power potion's good. Second chance at the cold snap, which I really appreciate. Energy generator is less useful given that we have the nuclear battery, but more useful with equilibrium hologram, in, generally speaking. Let's, let's definitely grab the attack card that we're offered now. And how do we feel about trading health for money? We're not exactly happy about it, but I am going to do it. I think we actually do want more energy on future turns. We're, we've now developed the deck to the point where we're no longer following that rule of dual cast first. I 
Although it might have been correct. Thought we just do this, right? Many potions. Ooh. Option to recreate our plasma orb. I think it's something that I don't often enough take in a nuclear battery run. So frequently I'll lose that plasma orb and be unable to get it back. It doesn't exactly help me against a Kremlin knob, though, you know? So that's a little concerning. The fact against Kremlin knob, we are pretty thoroughly hosed currently. I could try something desperate like taking and upgrading this barrage. So try to do six times three damage. That's not terrible, truthfully. Also opt out of the elites entirely, committing to taking out this burning elite and getting no store and no upgrades. I'll go with no thank you. Try this barrage with the upgrade on it. Hopefully that'll be enough damage for the next little bit. Certainly could be an awkward card on turn one. But my hope is that it'll more often be this good. Beam cell would definitely make it better. Yeah. Three damage and a vuln. Okay. Lead number one is the knob. Big scary. Take this card draw here. That should help quite a bit. Do I need the focus potion? Maybe? I'm gonna go with hopefully not. Next turn. Wishing I had that weak potion. That's really tough. See, if I play the hologram, we're taking 11 minus 5 is 6. This turn, next turn would be 33 minus 2. That will not keep me alive. Oh, no, I'm going to play Equilibrium, though. Bra oh, yeah, Draj does miss the shuffle because of the machine learning. That is bad. Ooh. Let's see, we do, what, 3 plus 9 plus 9 plus 3, 6 plus 18, 24 damage, which leaves 46 to be done, 18, 30. So this is saving me four hit points, maybe more, and it might might be four hit points that I need. Or wait, uh, let's do it this way then. Save even more. Actually wasn't too bad. 
I don't like that we had to use two potions for that, but that wasn't too bad. Do I take a Tempest? Do I take a Fusion? Now that we're past Grimlinob territory. I do take the Fusion now. Ooh. Shop-related relics. Nice. We'll take a sleep and fight this elite to get to the shop. And then we might not fight the remaining elite. But we should be really good at Laga and very good at sentries, too. Good. Hmm. Choosing to shuffle without these cards in hand. Mostly. I should do the math on how much damage this is. So we have minus two strength. This does one. This does six by three. So one plus 18, and these are both six. Six plus six, so 31 damage. We just need to make sure that we do six this turn. So I do have to play two strikes. Or one zap actually is fine too. Not a bad lag of villain at all. We scored the letter opener, letting us do damage by playing three skills. This deck is headed in the right direction. Is this actually a good recursion? My god, it might be. Second Barrage makes Knob pretty manageable too, and we're encouraged to in increase our damage output some significantly because we're fighting Hexaghost as well. Maybe I'll take the second Barrage. Well now. Good store. Apotheosis would let us upgrade every card of the deck. That's always, always good. Love it on Defect especially. There's, of course, an Echo form, letting us double the first card played each turn. Easier to get in play, thanks to Battery as well. Bag of Preparation to draw us more cards on turn one. 50 gold card removal. Just to name a few. You can get Apo Echo or Bag of Prep Echo. I think those are both really good options. For Apo Echo Remove. Wait, I can? 
Oh, I can. Wow. But what about Bang of Prep Echo Remove? Bag of prep boot thingy remove. Oh, we gotta take this echo form, right? Yeah. Do I actually remove a card? Or do I just say hack it and don't risk another gremlin knob encounter? We go to the two events and fight hexagons? That's pretty reasonable. Because if we're Um we should beat Hexaghost. With a second upgrade. I'll upgrade Beam Cell and we should be fine. Hologram's a pretty good upgrade too, actually. Almost feels like the Hologram upgrade might be more important. For Hexaghost, anyway. Chaos not good? Chaos is completely fine. <clears throat> but it's competing for our valuable upgrade slots. I think we don't have a lot of... Something we have more of. One upgraded strike, one upgraded defend. That's fine by me. We should be good to go to Hexagos with 17 HP. With 10 HP? Alright. Spicy. Definitely upgrading hologram then. Hopefully this is enough damage. Five energy at least makes Echo Form pretty easy to put in play here. for now. Double equilibrium, maybe. Boopity boopity. No problem. <clears throat> we get to go to Act 2 with almost no health and no potions, but we do have... Um... One of these? Hyper Beam is kind of a tough sell. Pretty good with Echo Form and... Hologram as a fight ender, though. Actually, really do like this hyper beam now. The more that I think about it, we got a beam cell, we have a hologram, we have an echo form. Like, we can absolutely murder things. And we do have uh, partial 
We've got some plasma generation. Also exceptionally good if we get a Sneko Eye. Dang it. What if I remove two more cards? This feels like a really good deck to continue to shrunk. Because then we can draw the Hyper Beam more early, more better. But instead go to five energy. Don't really want Ectoplasm with Courier Smiling Mask. We want to keep going to shops. But we could take the Curse Key since the curses are pretty easy to remove. Move Zap and Cold Snap. That would make our two barrages very sad. I want to make sure that we can get the orb slots filled up pretty quickly. So I was thinking remove Strike and Defend. Although remove Strike and Zap is reasonable. I want to keep the dual cast too because it'll allow me to do stuff like dual cast, Hyper Beam, Hologram, Hyper Beam. So I think I am going to go one Strike, one Defend here. And we're going to continue to be offered opportunities to remove cards every time we go to a store. It's like a relatively weird act overall. Not sure how capable I feel against elites. With only 16 cards, let's see what our turn one looks like here. I bet it's going to be pretty hot. Hmm. Almost. Actually pretty good, right? We go Echo Form, Defend, Defend, Hologram, Defend, Take... Only two damage here, have Echo Form in play, hopefully draw the Hyper Beam, and then it's over. Yeah, I really like the Empty Cage as our boss relic for exactly that. An upgraded Beam Cell makes it much easier to keep up the Assault, too. Although a rebound is similarly tempting. Let me grab this Beam Cell. Do I want to go to the store? Kind of. If I go to the store, I can't do this, though. It's not. Put the card or upgrade all the remaining strikes and defense. I'll just keep removing cards, thanks. I do think Zap should probably go. We'll want a replacement orb generator, because we got two barrages. Get rid of that. Let's at least do another easy combat. I want to. Potion chance. Something. Later, Echo Form. Sounds like I'm not going to go for those elites. Didn't think so. It's not doing what I hoped it would be capable of. <clears throat> this is the kind of like, I was hoping we'd see this kind of turn more often on turn one. Turn two. Oh, that does help, though. Ooh. Defrag Ball Lightning. Actually, more into a Ball Lightning right now. It's an attack that generates a uh, an orb. And that makes the barrages hit way harder immediately. Got it. All of the 
relics would actually be pretty good here. Am I cool going this way? I am cool going that way. What do you got? The Enchilada on turn one gives us a random zero-cost power card. I actually quite like that. Um, do I want to see what this is? Yes. Oh! Okay, um, does that change things? That is quite a pair of potions. I'm in. We're offered bites that I won't take. Hey, look at Intraviridian here, giving us free electrodynamics on turn one. That's just rude. For the gremlins. Poor gremlins. Good stuff. Just have to evoke... To evoke both orbs. Hmm. Equilibrium, Cold Snap, Electro, Ball Lightning. And I can fusion at the end, but I can't play the Echo form. That's okay. I don't think I need to. That means I can play the Cold Stamp on the leader here, I believe. This, this, this. Exact block, exact gremlin kill. I can get a lot better than that. Um, definitely going to hologram equilibrium for that hand. Yikes. This is how the deck's supposed to work. healing to get. Okay. Plus 15 health criminal leader fight. Toddy, thank you so much, for, so much for 15 months of Tier 1. We could have had the bottled um, Apotheosis. For great shame. That recursion again. Charge battery is pretty good, too. I think instead we'll bottle our Equilibrium, allowing us to retain our turn 1 extra big hand. I really like bottled Equilibrium. Especially with the uh, additional hand size, so I'm pretty happy with that. Yes, Fire Flame Fire! Silent did win with Busted Crown. Managing to get there with Pyramid and Catalyst. It's really not a good Echo form target is the big problem. Looks like we need a bit more front-loaded block. Let's take a charge battery. Maybe he didn't need to upgrade the Hyper Beam, but I wanted to. This is a fight where we absolutely positively need to play Echo Form. Although it pains me to skip out on Equilibrium, Charge Battery, Cold Snap, Ball Lightning, all that jazz. I'll figure it out later.
capacitor will work pretty well. Let's do this. turn could be really bad. Nope. Turn of after will now heal us whenever we use a potion. We want some immediate card draw. Overclock is here, but overclock is a little questionable. Honestly. <clears throat> I'm gonna pass all of these. Go to the rest site. But will I actually rest at the rest site? That is the question. Tornithopter does not give 5 HP when the Fairy in a Bottle is used. It counts as discard this potion when you use it, when it triggers, instead of actually being used as some kind of weird legal mumbo-jumbo, but either way, it doesn't count, apparently. Bird face turn. That's a guaranteed two hit points on turn one. It's a, a, a blood vial, thanks to the Incaridian, and plus two when we play Echo Form, plus if we get other powers later that the Echo Form is doubling, that's going to be good, too. Do I sneak in another upgrade? I think it's completely reasonable to rest here. If I plan on going for the Burning Elite, which I kind of want to. Got Echo Form Hyper Beam nonsense, and I know that can't be a Book of Stabbing, which is my worst matchup right now. So yeah, let's go for it. I think a late in the act Burning Elite is generally one of your better opportunities to kill the Burning Elite. Also, yikes. I played Church Battery, that's right. Cell, ball lightning, cold snap, barrage, hyper beam. How much is that? Just check for lethal here, real quick. So we have three plus. That'll be ten from the ball lightning, nine from the cold snap, twenty-seven from the barrage, and then hyper beam is fifty-one. All told, that's 100 damage. That's more than enough to get the kill right now. So let's do that. Three plasma, 24 damage. Take that. We can play that sometimes. It's very good with the Echo Form. Yeah. Oh, and that's also great. I think this strike can go now. Defends are also questionable. This deck definitely wants to keep removing cards. Thank you, Angelata, for this delicious gift. We'll retain that.
Two lady. Yes. What is okay? I think we mostly just want to not add more cards to the deck right now. We have some some kind of near perfection. Maybe we do want a cool headed. It's draw, which is appreciated, especially since I can upgrade it to be a cool headed plus here. Plus goes infinite with. A fusion? Close to something. Alright, we'll, we'll grab one. It is a pretty good upgrade after all. Look at this freaking Enchiridion, man. Wow. Every time. We do have to miss out on the Echo Form again, but who... who actually, do I? Hold on. Do I, though? Never didn't have it. This, though. Be able to play this Meteor Strike next turn. Hmm. I'd rather have the extra orb to deal with the reinforcements. Oh. Well, that's convenient? Question mark. One? No! <laughs> Dang it! Tragedy has struck. Okay, get me out of here. Tempest Plus, very interesting with how many Plasma Orbs we can generate. Not necessarily helpful though. I don't know that I want a Cold Snap or a Claw. Good if we always get Electro, right? Like, yeah. <laughs> Unrecovered, did you hear that the Energizer Bunny has been arrested? He's been charged with battery. He'll go for this gift. With the Fairy in a Bottle for the Hyper Beam, we can opt to upgrade Cool Headed. We could maybe upgrade the Echo Form so that I never miss it, but I think I'm just going to play it regardless of whatever else happens. When I draw it. Free buffet. We can play Meteor Strike. Rude, rude, rude. It's 
Success. Okay, I do want to keep that buffer intact, which means I think not playing Hyper Beam this turn. Meteor Strike is going to be stolen by the front one, problematically. Still want to preserve the buffer for the hyper beam, so that's my main concern here. Can duplicate the hologram, getting back equilibrium. Something else. I think I'm gonna dual cast a frost orb this turn, just so we can keep the buffer intact. play this next turn, though, huh? It's okay. I can double the Hyper Beam. Also get our Fusion set up again. we can play Meteor Strike a bunch of times. Blocking's not really a thing here. Uh, we can play the Meteor Strike if I double this dual cast, actually. Let's do that. Not if I play like that, though. Foolish. Yes, that was foolish. Hold on. Let's rebuild. Excellent, excellent fight. Offered a thunder strike, scaling per number of lightning orbs we've channeled. All for one gets back all beam cells from the discard pile, or the reboot lets us reshuffle the cards into the draw pile and draw four. Not bad with Leonard Opener. Reboot is, if especially if you've got lots of energy generation, uh, potentially quite a bit of card draw. I think I'm, 
okay with this reboot. We could maybe take one of these in anticipation of a Sneko. I think even if I take the reboot, I'll pick up Sneko with Echo Form Meteor Strike. I would have to, right? And I'll swap the skill pot for a colorless pot. I don't really trust skill potions. Oh, we do get one. Good. Very hard to imagine Sneko I being the wrong pick with uh, Echo Form and Meteor Strike. There is also the Inserter, letting us gain more orb slots, which is kind of huge here, right? We have barrages and plasma orbs, so the more orb slots we get, the more energy we'll be able to generate, and the more damage our barrages will do, but I don't think that's going to be quite as good as the sheer brokenness that this Nekoi should be. Hey, hey everyone! Did you know that you can now support me directly on YouTube by getting a channel membership? For as low as five bucks a month, you'll get access to perks like custom badges and emojis to use in comments, and discounts on the merch store, all while helping support me and this channel to do what I love every day. Just click the join button below to get started. Now back to the video. Praise Neko. Okay, we took our Burning Elite out of the package already. Shops are good because they heal me. Well, I can only go to one of them though. How do we feel about upgrades? Definitely some of these need upgrades. But I remove Reboot for free now? Yes, if I get the, like, the... The Bonfire Spirits event, we'll definitely throw it away for the 10 HP. That is certain. Other things are less certain. But what is also certain is that we have a lot of healing. And I like that. We also have this as our turn one now, so... Welcome to die, everybody. Enjoy being murdered. Force body is exceptional, letting us block X, where X is the number of energy we have, and Meteor Strike is the amount of energy that we have. Oh my god, this, this run got really nutty, actually. Oh my. Could have killed with Letter Opener, but I want to heal too by playing the Seco form. It's another chance at Tempest. That is a mighty powerful Tempest, actually. Problem is, it turns all our plasma orbs into death orbs. And it might do no damage. We already passed on uh, Chemical X. Ah, we'll, we'll skip. We'll skip. That's too much money, sir. Not today. That courier, this is 500 gold, essentially. How dare you. Come into my house. Although here, if we if we had Tempest, I could just kill with Tempest. Instead, I have to block Stinky Reinforced Body for a hundred. Again.
even better block. A reinforced body plus. Oh yeah, we're headed in the right direction here. Big time we are. Stinky meal ticket did nothing. Data disc here could give us a point of focus, but does focus do anything at this point? Unsure. Take a second fairy in a bottle. Vision could be card drawn energy, maybe? Needs an upgrade, though. I like her go for the eyes, letting us apply weak. It's the only weak card Defect has. Maybe some instant card draw. Overall, I'm not thrilled with this shot. Definitely want to remove a card. Now that we have two reinforced bodies, just all of the defense can go. Actually, I think Ball Lightning and Cold Snap can go. Looks like we have the sustain we need. What about Spoon? Cards that exhaust when played. Just the reboot. No, doesn't look like that does anything either. I could take the Spoon and the genetic algorithm with, with Echo Form. I actually think we could get this to be shockingly high by the end of the act if we took Spoon Algorithm. With the two reinforced, that feels completely unnecessary, though. Given that I have Courier, I think I'll just take all this cash to the next shop. And we'll buy stuff there. Upgrade either the reinforced or the Meteor Strike. Let's get more damage on this Meteor Strike, since we are going to be playing it a lot of times. Wouldn't call Storm particularly helpful here. Suppose it is not terrible. Reboot ostensibly gets me further away from Echo Form. Let's deploy one orb then. Finn Grey, thank you so much for the 15 months and that. Here one sub. Sub port continues. Drag, thank you for the prime sub of the 18 months of support. What? Even with the Snekawai, I think this deck could maybe make, well, no, the x cost cards uh, ruin any hope of using the Unceasing Top, actually. There's Reprogram. I think that's the time and the place for it. Oh yes, definitely so. Reprogram lets us lose focus in exchange for strength and dexterity, and I think we are in the perfect position for that to be exceedingly relevant to this run, letting us scale these reinforced bodies up to crazy land. 
amongst other things. A Rico pillow for us. One nemesis. Please. Zero cost hologram. That's pretty hype. turn. And what a turn it is. Our Calcum is a little bit of guaranteed block. This deck would definitely love an additional hologram. Double energy could be surprisingly spicy too. Although, without calipers, I don't see a whole lot of use for it. Take another hologram. Hologram exceedingly good with... Rip defend. <laughs> lose Echo Form, lose Meteor Strike, or lose defend. Hmm. Think real hard about that one. Bye! I do want to get this hologram upgraded, so let's recall first. And, uh, yeah, here's the turn one I was hoping for from, like, the beginning of the run. Pew pew. Alright, what do the events have? Winding Calls. Fortunately, Madnesses are not much use to a Sneko Deco. We have two excellent potions, lots of cash, and another upgraded hologram. So I think our odds in these last few fights are pretty exceptional. Especially with a turn one eco form. Get this out. Alright, Mr. Time Eater. Ah, company. some Lucas down and dexterity up. Thank you. I don't really want to retain this hand. I'm gonna be on one card. Shoot. It's actually okay. Means we don't gain the uh, bonus damage from the strength there. Not even attacking me. That's a problem, though. The fact that all of our block is in our hands. Nothing I can do about it. Oh, yes, there is something I can do about it. Play Reboot. Dang 
Got to stop. Kaponski, thank you so much for the prime sub that half year. Heck yeah. Next up, the shapes who will hopefully be a bit of an easier time. Although I see our turn one is still kabungered pretty thoroughly. Technical term, do not steal. I'd like to keep the reinforced for next turn. bit of a slow start. You know those mornings when you like, you wake up but you're not really all there, kind of like blearily stagger over to your coffee? That's how this defect feels right now. There we go, here we go. We're starting to get fired up a little bit. The fact that I'm like dying. Because only one card costs zero the entire fight so far? Yikes. Well, that's a thing. Dual cast is only plus one energy, but that's still maybe enough. Uh, problem is I can't... Well, no, no, I'll be able to... Yes, we have Sneko on. Okay. Fine. Just hollow the reinforced blues. Not getting reprogrammed played is a little scary. Don't forget, we have a fairy in a bottle, worst case scenario. Gotta save me, reboot. Job. Take eight. I'm actually cool with that. Keep this. So that I don't have a bad turn here. Yeah, that would have been bad otherwise. plus 9 doesn't equal 21. However, 9 plus 9 plus 9 plus 9 plus 9 plus 9 plus 9. Plus nine. That is 21. Plus 9. Plus 9. Plus 9. <laughs> Just getting a little bit of letter opener value in here. Why not, right? Plus nine. All right, we're done.
All right, we're through. Both potions preserved. Going to act four here. Two thump, two thump, a deep pulsing dread can be felt throughout the room. Is this the heart of the spire, the source of this penultimate victory? You charge your battery to the maximum manufacturer recommended specifications. But do not exceed them. For that would void the warranty. And we also upgrade something here. Either the reinforced body, the reboot, or the charge battery, probably. I think making the reinforced better might be better. I've actually been using the reboot surprisingly often. Maybe the plus two draw is really meaningful. Let's find out. I do think Reboot has one of the best plus draw upgrades in the game. And I think a second Meteor Strike is freaking fantastic, yes. We'll take another Meteor Strike, thank you. Double Meteor. Skim is also pretty good for some more card draw. I think removing a card is exceptional as well. I almost want to get rid of the one Barrage now. An upgraded one. Skim is grand. Unupgraded hologram, not so good. Take the toolbox for a random colorless card on turn one. Could have considered mayhem, actually, but... I think we're good now. Yeah, I think we're good now. Last hundred gold really doesn't get to do much, but that's okay. It's interesting. I'll take a discovery. Oh, that's true. Yes, mayhem, mayhem echo form is not a combo. Don't do that. You'll play the top card of the deck twice instead of the best card in your hand twice, uh, and that's not a not a good thing to do. You have. Oh, that's right. Discovery. It's a free echo form. You know that relic toolbox at the start of turn one put a one cost echo form into your hand. It's a pretty good relic. That's a pretty good relic. I'm actually going to get one card. Still worth it, though. Meteor Strike and... Nothing! Incoming damage is 65, so I only need to play this for 5 energy. Approximately. Let's do this. Hourglass for a little bit more damage every turn. Do we want the double energy this time? Still thinking... Still thinking probably not. Alright. Oh man, and a magnetism? Hell yeah, I give you random colorless cards every turn. That sounds fun. That sounds really fun. 
Capacitor here to give us some extra orb slots. You know, that's a reasonable duplication, although duplicating our Echo Form to make it first two cards duped each turn is pretty good as well. Start with Equilibrium Fusion Skim. Either way, I'm playing the Meteor Strike first, so that I can get enough energy to play Magnetism here. I could also opt not to play it now, that's true. Card clog here. Sh Very stinky card clog. Card clog. Excuse me. It'd be difficult to play all of these attacks, huh? Probably gonna use the Fairy in a Bottle next turn. Reboot. Don't want to reboot though. This impatience. Okay, hold on. So, skim is one cost. We could also get equilibrium to retain the hologram? No. I'd be using the hologram to get the equilibrium, that would be ridiculous. If I hologram skim, I could hit Echo Form and be unable to play it. That seems like a terrible idea. So let's just get the Meteor Strike and do some more damage. form. Good turn overall. This one's good. I actually don't think we end up using the, the thingy, right? This will be... Eight times eight is sixty-four. Yeah, keep me alive. I could also master a strategy here. Try to draw some value. Nice. Okay, sweet. Free hologram gets back. A one cost meteor strike. I'll play that. Then I'll reinforce. Slimed duplication potion, the echo form. And yeah. Yep, 
Yeah, if we if we duplication potion echo form as the first card on that turn, we do not get any card duplications for the rest of the turn. Very notably. It does not work that way. I can loop holograms pretty much as long as I want here. Just scale up the strength index a lot. Did Hollow just hollow itself? The duplicated, the echo formed version of the hologram fetched the original hologram, is what happened there. It does kind of feel like cheating. I don't think I'm going to need to to hollow loop for letter opener damage. So I'm not gonna bother. We're up to ten strength, ten dexterity here. Which means reinforced body is hella blank. Try it this way. That's right, if you start your turn with no Echo Form, like with, with Echo Form not in play, you can't use Echo Form to duplicate any cards on your turn. Even if your first action is to play five copies of Echo Form somehow, with one card play, you won't be duplicating any of the cards that follow. Until the next turn. We've got a times whatever attack next turn, right? It's just... Block that with reinforced. Yeah, 4 by 15, easy peasy. It's also true that you cannot um, start with Echo Form in play, have it expire, and then regain it. So, for example, if you're if you start combat, uh, start your turn with one stack of Echo Form, play Defend twice, then your second card is let's say um, Duplication Potion plus. Amplify on Echo Form, and you play three copies of Echo Form as your second card somehow. You still won't duplicate the third card. Just doesn't work that way. You tried violence, or did you? Hey, look, violence did something. Good job, violence. Yep. Yeah. All right, Mr. Hart, what a heck of a snack of a run. GG. GG. Hey, hey everyone. Thanks so much for watching. Did you know that I'm live five days a week on Twitch? Come join us to watch me live, ask questions, or chill with the community. Click the link in the description below to follow and be notified when I'm live. And while you're down there, make like a sandwich and sub to this channel for more fresh Baylor content. Ta-ta for now.